Welcome to another Cloud of Things tutorial. Today we're going to talk about device management. If you've already logged onto the platform and are ready to attach your first device, you are at the right place. Hi, I'm Jennifer Brunninghaus and I work for the Internet of Things unit at Deutsche Telekom. Let's get started. In the Cloud of Things, devices are attached using the Device Management app. This app also allows you to administrate, configure, and steer all of your devices. The Device Management app is often used by technically oriented or IT colleagues. Log in to the Cloud of Things portal and turn on the respective device. Click on the quick link labeled Add Device or open the Device Management app directly and click on the menu point Register Device. In the first mask, type in the device ID, such as an EMI number, and click on Register Device. A short green signal confirms that the device has been recognized. From here, the device must be confirmed. And for this, you must be sure that you are in the Device Management app. In the left-hand navigation bar of the Device Management app, click on Register Device and confirm your device by clicking on the Magenta button. Your device is now connected with the Cloud of Things. Depending upon the number of devices you have, you may want to consider which view of the device inventory best suits your work. You can choose between a table view or icons. The registration of many devices at one time can be made simple by using a CSV file. Either you can build this file yourself using Excel, or more often the CSV file can be obtained through systems integrators or vendors. Click on the upload symbol that you find in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Confirm your file by clicking on open. The cloud of things loads each device into your inventory and confirms the number of devices. To edit the information of the device, first generate a list by clicking on all devices. Find your device of interest and click on it. Now you can see all information. Depending on the type of the device, different submenus are available for you by clicking on the tabs. The information ranges from general device data to that available from the device settings. Our handbook gives more details about the features that are available through the submenus. Devices are removed from the inventory by choosing the device per mouse over from the device list. Click on the red X button on the right to delete the device. This removes the device from the inventory. However, to remove it from the entire platform, click on Management and then Device Credentials found in the navigation menu to the left of the screen. Click on the red button to the right. Now the device is completely removed. One of the most important features of device management is alarms. Using alarms keeps you informed of any problems that might develop in devices or machinery. This means you can react quickly. In the left navigation menu, click on Overviews and then Alarms to obtain a list of the open alarms. This is the standard setting. Filters to this list can be made by using the header bar towards the top of the page. You can also see device-specific alarms. Go to Devices, and then click on All Devices. Choose the respective device, and then Alarms. Alarms are categorized into four different priorities. Critical, Major, Minor, and Warning. The list can be filtered accordingly. By clicking on the arrow, you can see the details behind any given alarm. There are three statuses that indicate how an alarm is being handled. The alarms can be either active or acknowledge or resolved. The status of the alarm must be manually addressed and it can be either confirmed or manually deleted. Please note that the identical alarm from a given device is not repeated on the list. Each alarm has a counter which is shown in red in the alarm description. Smart rules behind the alarms can be generated. To learn more about these, please watch our cockpit tutorial. And finally, there is a navigation point groups. When your device inventory is large, 
it is suggested that you build groups of devices. This can make your management easier. This can also be found in our cockpit tutorial. So now you have learned how to attach a device to the Cloud of Things and we're given an overview of the functionality to be found under device management. When you found this tutorial helpful, please let us know by clicking on the like button or share this video with your colleagues. Thank you.